Our next topic is going to be talking about Gears of War guys as a franchise at this point in time. And we're going to go based on, you know, kind of my opinion. I would love to hear all of you guys chime in on, on this topic as well. That being, is Gears of War at this point dead? Uh, so basically, guys, before we kind of really get into it, uh, to kind of preface what's happened, Rod Ferguson left the coalition to work on to work for Blizzard and the Diablo franchise. Cliff Blazinski's talking about coming back to, you know, Helm Gears of War, but right now there's no one there. So let's just say right now, no one is there to Helm Gears of War take over for Rod Ferguson. A lot of people are saying that Gears of War was a sinking ship, and so Rod Ferguson jumped off that ship to head to, you know, to nicer, you know, fields, essentially. Here's the thing, though. Gears of War, in my opinion, is far from dead. It's just a game that needs to be kind of steered in, in, in the right direction. It needs to, because I think, think there, there's a lot of, I think a lot of the problems that Gears of War has had as of, uh, more as of late than anything, is actually brought on, it, it's self-conflicted. It, it's, it's essentially the community, in my opinion. The community is so negative about everything within Gears of War that no matter whether the Gears of War was doing something right or wrong they they would there's no win-win situation for the coalition and Rod Ferguson all those guys I mean it just, there just isn't now obviously I mean I remember people complaining even when Gears of War 3 was out um, and that was in my opinion the greatest Gears game ever made each Gears of War has had issues but I think it's the community so much that it's just, there's so much negativity. And see, the fan base isn't big enough to sustain a, a huge amount of negativity. I'll give you an example. Call of Duty is another game which I, which I love, one of, my, one of my favorite games of all time, with StarCraft and Gears of War. Call of Duty has a massive, huge fan base, right? Absolutely, I mean, it's monstrous. There's a lot of complainers there too, or a lot of negative feedback that comes out. The same can be said for like games like Fortnite. But here's the difference. A game like Call of Duty or Fortnite, they can absorb that negative feedback and such because there's so many other people playing the game. With Gears of War, it's at this point, even though I don't believe it's fully a niche game, there's just a lot of people out there that when there's consistent negativity around the game, a lot of those people that hear the negativity or see it on social media are just going to be kind of turned off from even playing the game and they move on to other games and other shooters and, and whatever it might be. So is Gears of War dead? No, I don't think it's dead. And I, you know, because obviously Gear 6 and Gear 7, those were, you know, confirmed by Rod Ferguson. Now I know Rod Ferguson left. But he did say that a Gear 6 and a Gear 7, as well as, well as a Gears of War movie, are all confirmed and are going to be coming out at some point in the future. So, look, how can we move forward? There's a number of things that I think that we can do. Obviously, supporting content creators, supporting you know the streamers, supporting the pro players, watching the events, guys, um, you know... Just having the, even if you're not like fully watching the matches like 24 seven or what, you know, the matches as they're on, at least if you have them up on Twitch and you're kind of, you just have them kind of as one of those tabs on, on your computer that you kind of come back to and you watch different matches, support the scene. If you want to see the growth of the scene continue, you got to be, you know, I mean, you really have to uh, be supporting it in different ways, whether that's by playing the game or by you know, supporting content creators, streamers, pro players, watching the esports scene. It's so important because I've never really, I mean, I've seen this a little bit in Call of Duty as well, but see, once again, Call of Duty can sustain it because of how big the fan base is, how big of a game it is. Gears of War is not even close to as big as Call of Duty. I think Gears of War could be that big at some point, but with the negativity and, and things of that nature, it just, we're never, it's like, we're never going to progress. I've never seen so many pro players in a scene, other than maybe Call of Duty, complain about 
everything within the game. I mean, so many complaints have been coming towards the coalition, just stating that the game is just not playable. It's like, look, this is your job. It's like, we understand that you want, you know, certain things done in the game, but, you know, I just feel like all this negative energy is bringing your scene down. And the more, the, the further it comes down, the less viewership there's going to be, the less sponsors there'll be, less teams there'll be, and then you're not getting paid. And so I, that, that just is mind blowing to me. I compare it to the challengers of Call of Duty who complain about where they're playing in their tournaments. And it's like a $250,000 tournament. And they're complaining about they're playing in a, in a parking garage. It's like, look, they could easily say, we're not doing this. And then you would have no opportunity at all to make money off of your craft. And you should be able to, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things, guys, that you have to really trend or, or, or like kind of tread a fine line here between complaining and just being completely... Um, bashful and uh, obnoxious to the to the developers because not only is it actually it's hurting the scene but it's also you know kind of demotivating the developers it's not motivating them to, to continue doing things for you if you're just going to cuss them out on social media we have to it's a group effort here right we have to be as a as a team as a group a community we have to be supporting one another look if if the coalition's doing something wrong saying something sure but like going you know being completely and utterly you know out of line i i can really probably say being out of line about it and you know complaining about things that i'm sure the coalition is is trying to do things behind the scenes it's just not helping Gears of War as a whole right now. It's not helping when you complain and, you know, instead, you know, do something like actually stream or create content, you know, help build this, build the scene. There's so many pro players. I don't even see stream on, on Twitch or on YouTube. You just don't see it. And uh, it, it really, it really hurts the scene. It really does guys. And it's, it's really unfortunate. Um, sometimes I wonder what the future holds after this upcoming year of, of esports or the Gears esports scene. Um, obviously, when the developers change the meta or have an update right before a tournament, sure, that doesn't help, right? We all know that. But look, there's a certain way that you can go about conducting those, those types of things, those types of complaints um, without hurting the scene. Just kind of giving constructive feedback and such. Um, just go lashing out on social media is just bringing the scene down and it's, it's just not helping. And I think that a lot of people out there are, you know, starting to kind of really see through what's going on. Um, and a lot of that, that being like sponsors and other teams that are looking to maybe come into the scene. Um, and it's, it's really sad and it's unfortunate and I I'm concerned. I'm, I'm more concerned now than I was, you know, uh, when Gears 5 first launched, I'm a lot more concerned about the future of, of the franchise. Now with Rob Ferguson leaving, there's a lot of question marks here. Is this going to be a game that goes right back into limbo, a limbo state like it was after Gears Judgment? Uh, you know, but guys, look, the best way that we can continue moving forward here is by supporting each other, that being like streamers, content creators, the pro players, supporting the esports scene, trying to get, you know, you know, watch it. If you enjoy Gears of War, why wouldn't you watch it? I mean, you know, I enjoy Call of Duty. I always have, when anytime the Call of Duty League's on, I got it on my TV. Anytime that the Gears Pro scene is being played, as far as like, you know, the PGL, I'm watching it on, on my computer, on Twitch. Uh, same thing with StarCraft. I'm watching these tournaments because it not only does it help the scene, it's, it's fun to watch. And I, I love the game. So it's, why not? Why not just have it on there? That helps support it. Um, the negativity has got to go, guys. I mean, I understand that there's just, you know, I understand some of the negativity, but man, like it's over the top. And for a scene that's not nearly as big as Fortnite and, and Call of Duty, we act like this scene is as big as those, as big as Call of Duty, as big as Fortnite, because the criticisms that come out 
I, some people must think that, that it's sustainable, but it's just not. This scene is not as big as those games, and it's really going to hurt in the long run. So guys, look, support each other in this time as we're trying to move forward. I'm going to try to do my part, whether that be continue to create Gears of War content for all of you, and to really start conversations on YouTube and even on Twitch. I think it's important, guys. Um, but Gears of War is far from dead, in my opinion. I think that we still have a very bright future, but we got to stop with all the over-criticizing and we have to, you know, give credit where credit's due. Start, you know, telling the coalition when they're doing things right, you know, um, instead of just bashing them for the things that they do wrong. I hope you guys understand that and let's have a real conversation about it.